don't know about you, but I'm one of these people that takes far too much gear when I go fishing. At the end of the day, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I don't know how I used to manage without a barrow in the old days. I used to walk up to Snake Pit, which was a good mile or so, with two nights worth of gear on my back. I just thought a barrow was a barrow. It done the job for me. Little did I know that there was something far better out there. Um, now, I struggled with that barrow for a good few years, and my mates were constantly going, why don't you get a carp pour? But one day, my old one fell to pieces, and I ended up borrowing one of my mates' carp porters, and I honestly could not believe the difference. Now, I know it sounds like a bit of a sales pitch, but the amount of people over the years that I've said, look, just try mine with the gear on and see if it's any difference. Every person that I've showed it to has ended up going out and buying themselves one. So this is the one I've got. This is a Mark II carp porter. It's a slightly newer model. It's now got a, uh, a wider wheel on it just for extra stability. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to load it properly. Now first of all, we've got this bag here. Now what you want to do is you want to try and get some heavy items in the bottom here. Just think of a racing car. Really low to the ground. All the weight's low, so when they go around corners, they're not going to flip over. Same principle with this. Low centre of gravity is what it's all about. So what you need to do is get your heavy items in this bag. So I'll normally put my water in there. Obviously that's pretty heavy. Bit of bait and a bit more bait. Now, that's probably enough. And then you've obviously got a bit more space there if you want to wedge any spare clothes in or anything like that. I really do find that bag extremely handy. So, shut that up. Next all, bed chair. It just gives you a bit of extra support at the side. Next, you want a nice heavy bag at the front. So, here we are with my hold all, which has got far too much stuff in it. How I ever used to walk to the lake, I don't know. So there we go, that's at the front. Next up, whatever you like really. I've got a couple of buckets of bait here, just, just to show that it is capable of carrying a lot of weight. And obviously you might have your food bag and... I've just bought the sort of standard stuff that I'd take on a 24-hour session. Just pop my mat in there like that. And I've got my bivvy that I didn't dry out from my last session. Schoolboy era. Last but not least, my old rod holder. Now it's time to show you how easy it is to use. Now one of the special features about the cart port is, is the fact that the wheel's centred. And once you've loaded it properly, as I said, with all the weight at the front, it just balances itself out like a dream, really. Um, there's no effort to it whatsoever. It is literally... I mean, I'm, I'm not lifting. I'm sort of pushing down more than I'm lifting, but it, there's just no effort there at all. Look, I mean, two fingers I've got on there now, look. Lovely. Walk for miles, I could. Now, I actually had that on the smallest setting, but it is completely adjustable. Say you've got a wide boy bed chair or you've just got even more gear. Um, these bits widen, just undo the screws there, that pulls out. And the same with that one there, so you can make it even longer. And the other thing I like about this is the fact that it folds up really quickly and uh, fits in the motor, no bothers. All you do, they pull over there, that one pulls over there. Unscrew these, they slot out. Like so. Bag just folds up under itself. Now, I quite often end up leaving the wheel on, but should you wish to take it off, it's a simple case of unscrewing those and taking it off like that. Hardly anything there to uh, take up space in your motor, and it's going to save you a serious amount of backache. Cart Porter have got a much deserved reputation for uh, being a superb manufacturer of cart barrows. There's no doubt that they make your life easier, and let's face it, we all like an easy life.